Louisiana Beer Reviews, Kentucky Coffee Barrel Stout from Lexington Distilling and Brewing, formerly Alltech of Lexington, Kentucky. The beer of Bourbon County, aged in bourbon barrels. This company was established, or their brewing division was established in 1999. Okay, they had their beers sold around here years ago for like a month. Uh, but now they're starting to come into play here and I want to get the cream ale tomorrow and so let's check it out there's so many video reviews for this beer it's incredible John and Neely did one with George beer reviews and um, Greg and Simon Martin and more and more and more people all right so put it in this porthole cocktail lounge glass here all right I'm looking forward to it So it's available in southeastern Louisiana. How long this will be the case, I don't know. 8% alcohol, 18 international bitterness units. They use two-row pale caramel 80 chocolate and carapils malts. East Kent Goldings are the hops, so one hop variety. Uh, Beer Advoca says it's good, 84 out of 100, with 75 ratings total. Rape beer with only 25 ratings, so it adds up to 100 with those two together, saying it's a 94, it's most excellent in the style, it's a 29, it's pretty horrible, so that's, a, that's amazing, huh? It's a 94 for beer, but in the style, coffee, bourbon barrel, stout, it's poor. <laughs> and a 75 out of 100 on untapped, with 66,466 check-ins. Okay, the head is gone down to beige it was thicker it would be thicker in a narrower brim glass the appearance is dark brown nearly black and I don't even yeah I do see I just picked up a glimpse of red reddish brown highlights at the bottom all right so it's looking good they said they're using their own Haitian style coffee or actual Haitian imported coffee their own brand of it they said bourbon barrels, but they didn't name the company, so I don't know who's bourbon barrels. Is it Sazerac? Is it Heaven Hill or some other company? Now the aroma's dark malt, maybe coffee. I don't know about bourbon though. Perhaps, but I wouldn't be talking about bourbon if I didn't know beforehand. I really wouldn't. Let's go with the taste. Some coffee, but it's mild. It's not heavy. It's not a heavy dose of it. Um, maybe there's just a shadow of bourbon, but I'm not picking that up. And like I said with the aroma, if I didn't know it was Asian bourbon barrels, I wouldn't be mentioning it. And that happens a lot of times with beers when they say they're flavored with something. I don't pick it up. Or I wouldn't have mentioned it if I hadn't known beforehand. Mouthfeel is um, medium, almost low medium. Seems more like a porter in a way, in some ways, than a stout, honestly, than a stout porter, than a stout porter. It's kind of a powdery dry finish, so I'm thinking it's a dry stout. Um, I guess it's good. It is good, like Beer Advocate saying, good. It's a good beer. But I think that's about it. So good, 85, I'll say 85 out of 100. Straight good. Um, I tried it. So. Yeah, I could say I tried it. So laissez les bon temps relate, a B beer, and I have these crackers with the um, meat, the beef, the um, corned beef, and I put the, Louisiana, the sure fine Louisiana style hot sauce on four of them.
the fifth one, I have the Yamasa soy sauce. Thanks, Ken. is fine. So, give it one more sip. I know I already scored it. Just trying to reassess. Yeah, it's good, but it's kind of bland, actually. So, upcoming wine I have. Lindemann's, Dr. Henry John Lindemann's from 1843. This is the 2017 Rich Red Blend. With some nice artwork on it. Matherns had these on sale for $2.99 a bottle, 750 milliliter bottle, 13.5% 13, 13 alcohol from Australia, 56% Shiraz, and 44% Cabernet Sauvignon. Ah, uh, yeah. And then I have Grand Legacy American Blend, blended whiskey with natural flavors, 80 proof. Oh, boy. 1.75 liter bottle. Bought this at CVS Pharmacy for Pharmacy for ten ninety nine. All right, so thanks for watching my video production, and y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.